This will be a relatively quick unboxing. I don't know if I've mentioned this on my video blog before, but I'm a big fan of Gelid Wing fans. I really, really like them. They undervolt extremely well, which is to say they don't tick or hum when you turn down the voltage to get them to quiet down. And they're also uh, reasonably quiet when they are running at full speed. So um, this is a new updated version of the Gelid Wing. This is the Wing PL series, which means that it is a PWM fan with an LED. So it has all kinds of cool features. So PWM control and LED light, uh, nano flux bearing. So what PWM control means is that your uh, lights won't get more dim when you uh, when you lower the voltage or rather when you lower the speed if you use PWM control. You can still use voltage control on a PWM fan, it's just, I mean, you got the feature there, you might as well use it. So here's some UV reactive fan mount. All right, so I'll show you those under UV light in just a moment. And then here is the fan with the UV reactive blades as well as white LEDs mounted in the housing. So you can see where the LEDs are mounted behind the fan. So I'm just gonna take you over into the other room here where I have my computer set up with, uh, there's a cat, yeah, that's right, you move. Uh, where I have my computer set up with uh, UV lights inside it, so you can see I got my uh, my wing 90 millimeter as well as my wing uh, 120 millimeter fans up in the top there. Those are not spinning for a reason, it's my fan controller that turned them off. So there's the UV reactive uh, fan mounts. So that would be kind of a neat, uh, neat way to mount these instead of the black ones that I have in there now. Maybe I should try and get my hands on some blue ones of these. Those are nice. And then here is the uh, the UV reactive green fan. So once I put it in there, it glows. That's why I have these purple lights for those of you who don't know how UV works. And no, uh, regular cathode lights like white, blue, red, they will not make stuff glow like this. You have to use UV in order to get this effect, which I personally really like, but it's not for everyone. So hold on, give me two seconds. I'm just going to adjust my camera so hopefully I can kind of point it at what I'm doing here. Ah! And I just want to plug this fan into my motherboard so that I can uh, show you guys what it looks like with the LEDs lit. And I have no idea what that's going to look like so we're all going to find out together because that's the beauty of this channel. Unscripted, uncensored, un professional sometimes, but what are you going to do? So there you have it. That is the uh, white LEDs on the fan. So basically it's kind of like uh, the, the glow is very similar to what you get from the UV, but you can see now the UV light is completely unnecessary. So for someone like me who's using UV in their rig for a more subtle lighting effect uh, versus bright LEDs. I would probably stick with the regular wing series fans. You can see how bright that makes the inside. And it's really going to diminish the UV effect on, um, on anything else because one of the disadvantages of UV is that as soon as you introduce any other light sources, you're going to really, really cut down on that glowing effect. So you can see it glows pretty freely by itself, but you go ahead and you put like a bright light source next to it and uh, that glow is going to be really reduced. I don't know how well you can, guys can see this, but there's only so much I can do. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and uh, first impressions of the Gelid Wing 12PL fan.